Hey guys, we're going to make three ingredient shortbread. It's so easy and they taste great with a cup of tea. This batch makes around 30 cookies. So let's get started. We're going to start with one cup of room temperature butter and to that we're going to add half a cup or 60 grams of sugar. You just want to cream the butter and the sugar together until light and fluffy. Make sure you scrape down the sides of the mixer so that all the ingredients are mixed properly. Add two cups or 300 grams of all-purpose flour. Shortbread biscuits contain no raising agent, which results in that dense buttery biscuit we all love. So we're going to mix that slowly until the mixture resembles this. It's quite dry, but don't worry, it will come together. If you feel that it's even drier than this and it looks quite sandy, you can add a couple of teaspoons of water. Now you just wanna use your hands to bring it together in a log shape. The temperature of your hands will soften the butter slightly and help that come together. Guys, you know that I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers, so do your part by watching the video. Give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share this video with all your friends and encourage them to subscribe to the channel too. Are you subscribing? Done? Now let's move on with the recipe. At this point, you can wrap the shortbread dough tightly in parchment paper and twist the ends. Refrigerate the dough for 30 minutes to allow it to firm up. When you are ready to bake, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and begin cutting the log into three quarter inch rounds. Arrange the shortbread biscuits on a parchment lined baking tray and bake them for 16 to 18 minutes until they are lightly golden. You can always change up this recipe by adding dried fruit, chocolate chunks, orange zest, cranberries or even chopped nuts. But I love the original all butter shortbread biscuits. So why don't you give this recipe a go? Do let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you, bye.